Perky Plains and RC here, operating at 2.4 gigahertz, and got my good old Radio Master TX16S here on the workbench. Um, figured, um, just got back from vacation and uh, hadn't quite gotten deep into my plane stuff just as of yet, so I figured this would be a good chance to do some radio stuff. Um, so, anyways, uh, I got my Radio Master here on the bench um, and going to attempt if you can't tell, uh, to do some Express LRS or ELRS setup. Uh, now, I've never done this before, so I am kind of doing a little bit of research and uh, diving into it. So this is what I currently have set up for it. Of course, here is my um, Express LRS ER8 receiver that's going to be going into the Stenson. And right here on my other hand is I have the Rain, uh, Radio Master Ranger Micro uh, module. Now, my particular uh, um, version of the Radio Master TX16 has the 4-in-1 module in it, which does the, all the different uh, bazillion protocols that it supports. Uh, so ELRS is not included, so you have to, of course, get this separate... Uh, module to make it work. Now they do make versions of the e, of the TX16 that have ELRS built into it. Um, like I said, my version just happens to have the 4-in-1 module. So, um, which I plan to kind of leave it that way, uh, just because I do have some planes that uh, uh, use the other protocols. So, had to buy the separate external module instead. So, we're going to give that a try. So, uh, give me a moment. I'm going to pop it in. And I've got some... Uh, batteries over here as well to power up the receiver and we'll give it a try all right so something i've done here is i've went ahead and taken the back cover off of the module bay there and i'm gonna go ahead and take the ranger and put it in place and just snaps right in okay there we go i'm gonna go ahead and power it back on Okay, and something I had also done as well before starting this video is I went ahead and created a uh, a model here um, for the Stenson. Okay, I was just digging the um, the receiver out of the box here, um, which uh, <laughs> took a little bit of, a little bit. They had it really kind of it was really snug on there pretty good, but uh, they packaged this thing very well. So I do want to give Radio Master props for that for packaging this thing so. So good. So anyways, anyway, got the receiver out. And we're about to get it powered up here in just a moment. Okay, guys. So um went ahead and gave this a try just to see um see you know just to see how the process works. And it's really not too bad um as far as just a basic express LRS setup or ELRS setup. Uh I think the trickiest part was just getting the receiver into bind mode, which um uh, if I had the appropriate hardware, I probably could have done it much easier, but uh, we'll kind of show you through what I've done here. So anyways, like I said, um, model has been named. Um, so what I had to do here is uh, a couple things first. Let me step into the um, the model, in model information here. Um, the big thing here is going to the bottom. And right now I have turned my internal module or internal RF is off, that's my 4 and one and I have the external, which is the um, Radio Master Ranger Micro, which, uh, as you can see there, of course, is all lit up nice and blue. Um, so, in here, uh, basically on that drop-down, I had to highlight the external mode, and then select CRSF, which I believe does stand for Crossfire, uh, enabled that, and you can kind of see there that uh, it's actually displaying a frequency and stuff. Um, the next thing that I do, and I mean, you guys may have different setups, of course, is I went down here and selected my receiver ID. Uh, currently, number nine is my next uh, available uh, receiver ID that I have set. And that was pretty much it. So I backed out of there. And then the next thing is I hold my system button. Or push my system button, go down to Express LRS, and then I select that. That'll, of course, pull up my um, Radio Master Ranger Micro. 
And then what I wanted, the next thing I did, of course, was go down here to the bind. Now, um, for this purposes, I'm not going to go ahead and select, I'm not going to select it, but I'm going to go ahead and at least have it highlighted. And then the next step is, this is where it gets a little tricky. So I'm going to set that to the side for a second. And let me show you the next step that you do. Okay, so this is where it, it can be a little bit tricky, but not terrible, though. Uh, and like I said, I think if I had a slightly different setup here, this would have been easier. But uh, here I have my receiver. I have just right now currently the rudder servo hooked to the receiver. And um, on the ER8, the battery connection is the last thing here. So, And like I said, this is where it gets tricky. So what I had to do is basically hook the battery you have to basically power cycle the receiver three times. So, and you have to do it relatively quickly. So it's, it's kind of this, this kind of thing. So one, two, three, and hold it and push it in all the way. So like I said, if I actually had like a power switch kind of set up to where I could just switch it real quick, it would be, would have been a lot easier, but I literally had to do this, this motion to finally get it to activate. And it took, it took a few tries. But what you should eventually see once you get once you uh, get the receiver into bind mode is you get like a real quick double yellow flash that lets you know that it's in bind mode. So once you get it to that point, then you go back to your transmitter and you know, kind of as quickly as you can go ahead and push that bind button. You know, go ahead and push the bind button. And then that will start the binding process. Now, once it's actually successfully bound, then this is what's going to happen, or what you're going to see with the uh, receiver. Okay, so I'm not sure if you can see it, but it is a, a solid blue uh, LED. And then i come back to the transmitter itself. Move the sticks. You can obviously hear the servo. And there you can see it. And of course, good to go. So that's pretty much it. All right, guys. Well, there you go. That's pretty much it. I just kind of took this morning to sort of step through that and kind of learn the basics on setting up uh, Express LRS or ELRS on these um, Radio Master. Uh, the Radio Master TX16S. Uh, from what I've been able to gather so far, there's actually some even more kind of advanced options I can do, like setting up a Wi-Fi password and things like that. Um, so that's something I might look into as well. But like I said, this was just kind of just a basic rundown on how to set this thing up. And uh, so I can actually start using it. Like I said, I plan to use it, uh, start using it in the Stinson first and then kind of grow from there. So... But uh, anyways, guys, uh, that is all for me for this video. I want to thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.